What's up guys, this is Alan. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you what's the best grafting method. Uh, when looking stuff online, you're gonna see all kinds of different techniques. There are some fancy ones out there that people are coming up all the time with, and there are some simple ones like the ones that I use here at the nursery. The te technique that I use is called cleft grafting. So the way it works is you get your rootstock. It doesn't really matter. Don't get fixated on the rootstocks. That's a topic for a different video. And then what you do is you make a cut right in the middle, like I did right here. And then you get your scion. In this case, this is a green mulberry, you see? And then you shave off one side, do the other, make it even as, uh, as even as possible. And then what you do, you stick it right through the middle of your rootstock, like this. And you want to try to get as good of a match as possible. It does not have to be perfect. You know why? Because then you're going to use electrical tape like this. This is the cheapest grafting tape that you can find anywhere out there. You can buy it anywhere. Nothing special. You have to understand gardening is very simple. It is not difficult. The only reason it looks difficult is because everybody out there is trying to sell you something. This is electrical tape. It works. Now, if your graft is not, let's say, even, you use the tape, you wrap it around, and as you wrap it around, you're going to squeeze this. Now, another thing you need to keep in mind is when doing this technique right here, only concentrate on one side. Okay? You see how this side right here is even on both sides? And the cambium layer is touching the cambium layer on the rootstock. What is the cambium layer? Well, that's the layer right beneath the bark. It's green, and when doing grafting, you want both layers on the scion and the rootstock to touch, because if they don't touch, they won't be able to heal. Now, this is one side right here. Now, let's take a look at the back side. The back side looks like crap. Freaking rookie grafter right here. I don't care because I'm only worried about one side. This is the easiest grafting technique out there that you can do, and this is what I have been doing for the past few years. When you look at grafting, it looks very complicated, especially if you start looking at all those fancy techniques. This right here will give you almost 100% success chance. Worry about one side, make sure one side looks great, and then the other side, no big deal. Does it look like crap? Yes, it does, but you know what that's going to do? It's going gonna, it's gonna to scab over, and then eventually you will not even notice it. So once your graft is done, you're going to wrap it with electrical tape, just like this. And then you want to keep your grafts in the shade and away from wind. Depending on the temperatures in your area, this is going to take easily, I would say, Depending on your temperatures, if your temperatures are in the 70s, 80s, day temperatures, it's going to take about three months for this uh, grafts to heal. But usually this right here, this trees will not be uh, able to be sold for at least, I would say, until late summer. Because I like all my grafts to be fully healed before I sell them. Because a lot of the times they're going to heal, they're going to look good, but then if you bump them or something happens, the graft is gonna break. So when cutting the, uh, the scions, it's always a good idea to have sharp blades, okay? So these are the pruners that we're using. The big one right there are for the bigger branches. And the smaller one, which is just a, a box cutter, nothing special, we put a brand new blade on it, and that's what we use to uh, cut the scions. No special grafting knives. While they are nice to use, I have not found one that actually will stay sharp long term. So what I do is I just get new blades and any time that I graft I put a new blade on and just like that we are up in business. Super easy to do guys. Now grafting take, it's, it, it's labor intensive, it's going to take a little time to actually get it done especially if you do not have experience. But you know what, if you're grafting for yourself, for your friends, maybe you want to make a little extra money. It's no big deal. You can see here, we've been here maybe 20 minutes. Um, you can see Josh over here is using the same uh, razor knife uh, to make the cut in this uh, rootstock and then he just sticks the sign in there. Super easy to do. 
concentrate on one side only if the other one looks like crap don't worry about it it's all about the one side so why am I grafting trees well the reason why I personally I'm grafting these trees right now is because this guys right here as you can see they're bigger so they will heal they will wake up and as soon as the uh, the graft uh, point is fully healed I can sell them immediately they look bigger and that's what sells people like to buy big also this year we're gonna be doing a bunch of green mulberry cuttings and uh, cuttings take a lot longer to root it's doable it just takes a lot longer so this year I'm grafting what I have left and also I'm gonna be doing a million cuttings next year I will see how many cuttings I have left and based on that I will either graft again or not but usually grafted trees are going to be able to be sold a lot sooner than cuttings and that's the main reason why most people graft trees also it guarantees the variety and uh, all that good stuff now a lot of naysayers out there are gonna say yeah that looks ugly do this instead and you know what don't listen to those people those people are just trying to make your life difficult they're trying to put fear in your mind so that way you don't try yourself so that way you keep on buying trees from somebody else instead of actually being self-sufficient and doing it yourself now this tree has been in the ground for about four years and the graft is right there can you even tell the difference does that look like it looks ugly? No, it does not. Because as the trees get older, they're gonna heal. They're gonna get big. And you will not even notice the difference. The only time it matters is, I guess, if you're selling your trees to some yuppies out there that really care about the look of the graft. Because they're being brainwashed by everybody online that you have to buy a nice, looking grafted tree but anyways once the graft actually heals over it's gonna look nice anyway the only time it looks ugly is when you first first graft them after a year two years you will not even notice a difference where the graft was this tree right here was grafted using the same technique and you can tell where the graft was on this one since it's a little smaller than the other one it was right here but you, there's no way you cannot tell the difference so my recommendation for you is if you want to get into grafting cleft grafting it's going to be one of the easiest techniques that you can actually use you can use them on stone fruits you can use them on apple trees mulberry trees you can use it on any tree out there very easy to do and it's literally foolproof if I can do it so can you I remember the first time I grafted trees I was so impressed because most of my trees took and it was the first time we did them so if I can do it so can you guys I'm done with this uh, graphs right here so I got a bunch of uh, cocktail trees as well I got uh, the uh, white Pakistan the regular Pakistan and I have a few with uh, Shangri-La as well but mainly I have a lot of green and Pakistan together so I put baggies over them as you can see that will keep the uh, wind from uh, dehydrating the cuttings and uh, also they are in my greenhouse that will keep uh, it will give them even uh, farther protection so they should take I don't have any doubts um, I mean I've done this before and I didn't have any issues and I never used the baggies but last year I put so much effort into uh, grafting a lot of trees for them to get destroyed by the wind every year is different but this year I need trees to take so anyways all done for now next step it's gonna be a bunch of cuttings as always if you have any questions comment below um, if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and I will see you next time